What is going on guys, DPG here, and since my last NBA Live video did super, super well, and it's still doing well four days later, which is absolutely crazy. Like, it's video's gonna easily hit 30,000 views in the next day or two, and it's just nuts. So obviously people still seem to, well, I'm not necessarily saying people prefer NBA Live to 2K. There's a lot of intrigue about NBA Live still. So I've been playing a whole lot of this game. But I haven't actually been playing it that much. I've been playing like two or three hours a day since Wednesday when the game went on sale for $6. And if you guys can see, I already have an 85 overall player. And that's without spending a cent on the game. And that is the one thing this game does so, so much better than NBA 2K. Is that the progression system is so much easier. Especially, uh, well, it's so much more like user friendly. You don't need to spend $50 or, yeah, I think it's $50 to get the 85 overall. You don't need to spend that money. And then from then, like, and the grind is much, much easier. The grind is kind of comparable to what it would have been like in 2K back when skill points were a thing, before VC was a thing. And honestly, it's just so, so easy to level, your, level up your player. Like the only reason he's only an 85 overall, and not, I'm guessing 87 overall, is what his like rating is when I upgrade his traits. So traits are important for ranking up. And the problem is, is that I have I'm just trying to get this open three trace leveled up. But if I stop and beat the press, suddenly he becomes an 87 overall. But I am trying to um, level up the open three one first. And then obviously, um, late release, if you're playing online, is a really, really important one to have your shooter because you do release late an awful lot when you're playing online. And then catch and shoot, obviously, um, is kind of important, especially for a shooter. But like, if you guys are looking at the skills that I've upgraded on this player, so, Basically, I've gotten 77 dribbling. I've already maxed out his three-pointer. Like I've, I've been playing this game three days. Three days. And I'm on level 53, which is almost halfway to level 100, which is the max level. Um, I've got an 80 open shot mid, which is okay. Got decent off dribble shot, decent contested shot. Not the best inside shot though, which is a little bit not great. But I've maxed out his three ball. And I'm also doing quite well um, in terms of completing the icon path. I've only got a couple more left to complete. I have about 150,000-ish XP left, which is about 15 to 20 games. So I think I might be able to complete this in the next, like by the end of next week anyway, especially since until the 19th, which is Tuesday, there is double XP. So honestly, the progression system is so, is great in my opinion in this game. And to be honest, if you do want to progress uh, fast, the league or the, um, the kind of offline the streets world tour that's probably the uh the best way to go about leveling up but um i've been having a lot of fun playing this game i've been actually like i know i've said it in a lot of my 2k videos that i'm actually i literally am only playing 2k right now to record i'm actually having a lot more fun playing nba live so uh i'm gonna go and play a game online at times uh, yeah playing online can be a little bit iffy because um a lot of the time for example, you're going to be playing with players that are just ball hogs, which is a little bit annoying. And the servers, they're not, well, yeah, the shot meter goes a little bit all over the place online. But uh, other than that, it shouldn't be too bad. So we're going to go and play three on three in a public match. Up to 15 ones and twos, which should be quite, quite quick. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we are playing on Venice Beach, which is a really cool court. And we are playing against, um, okay, opponents by the looks of it. Um, they've got all Bape gear, they're all, well, they're all decked out in Bape gear, but um, yeah, the fact this is on Venice Beach is really, really cool. One of my, probably my favorite outdoor court in the world, to be completely honest. Actually, no, I, I take that back, I take that back. Venice Beach is top three with the Yanis Court in Greece, and if you haven't seen the Yanis Court, I'm going to put it on the screen now. It's crazy, and Rucker Park as well. But uh, as long as I don't have any ball hogs on my team, I should be okay. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm playing center, which is the usual. But I almost always end up playing center, even though I'm a small forward. Oh, kick to the corner. Just shoot the ball. One of you, just shoot the ball. Oh my god. Like, I get it.
happened there? The ball was passed two inches away from when he just stood there and stared at it. Have I got my ankles broken four times in this game? Like, what am I meant to do? Am I meant to just not, not play defense? It seems like every time I'm trying to play defense, I get my ankles broken. Like, look at that. We can't make layups and they can hit them shots. Like, I can't do anything there. I literally cannot do anything. There we go. We're still gonna lose, but at least I hit a shot. Okay, like, there's nothing I can do. There is literally nothing I can do. Every time I step back is triggered, I get my ankles broken. What am I meant to do? I, I can't. There's nothing I can press that stops it. And it happens in everything. Every time I get my ankles broken, every time there's a step back animation is triggered, my ankles get broken. There is literally, is there a way to stop this? Because every time, whether it's the league or the streets, every single time it happens. Okay, so we're playing against a tough wing score. Okay, this should be quite fun. We're playing Rio de Janeiro anyway. This is quite a, well, it's a different court anyway to Venice Beach. Okay, we burned them. What? Did we just blow an open layup? Oh my God. Oh, come on. Like, I can't make, why can't they make layups? I'm an 85 overall. And I'm supposedly, like you're an 85 overall in an NBA video game. Making layups should be a formality. That's a wing defender. But, can still hit a three. I'll take it. I'm def this hot boy Cortez is definitely the best player on our team. Only down two though. We're still in this. And how do I get my ankles broken so often? He was two meters past me. How do I keep getting my ankles broken? And yeah, we lose that game again. I literally, I cannot control my player on defense. Like I get it, I'm not a defensive build, but like I literally cannot control him. He's on skates. Like I cannot play defense in this game. It's so weird. Okay, after that game, I definitely need to upgrade my defense. Oh wait, I can't. I can't. There is no way as a uh, wing shooter. Literally, it doesn't matter if I go and swap for a Deladon. I can't upgrade defense. Larry Bird, can't upgrade defense. I literally am stuck with my terrible, terrible defense. So let's just go with inside shot and hope that uh, if I can upgrade plus one, why is this going so slow? And plus two, hopefully upgrading that by plus two will at least mean that I can score layups. There we go, at least that's the first time I even semi play defense. Like just look at my player, his, his like face is falling apart. His face and his hair are like falling apart because I'm playing online, it's really weird. There we go, easy. Okay, I thought I missed that layer for a second. That would not have been a good look on me if I'd missed that. Oh my God. That was about four feet away from even being close to me. Like, passing is ridiculous. Bang. Air ball, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. I have, that was almost full white. I have a 95 open shot three and, well, 99 three point shot and that was an air ball. Don't miss this layup. Of course I miss an open layup. Of course I miss a layup. It doesn't matter that I'm an 87 overall. I can't make a layup. I'm there, good board. I just get it out of my hands. There's no point in me even taking a shot. Bang, you gotta hit this one. You have got to hit that one. 95 open shot three and a badge. This means that late releases don't mean as much. Oh my God. Why does my player suck this bad? Like I get it, I'm not an exceptional player at this game, but my player should not be this bad. Bang, full white, green. We go. We go, finally. Finally, it took like nearly an hour. It took nearly an hour, we finally won a game. So yeah, that's the video. I'm an 86 overall wing shooter. You can't shoot, can't play defense, and can't score layups apparently. So anyway, yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.